Hello fellow anti-novelists, we are ready to move on in our character development to card number four, which is the D card. Skills and abilities, what was this character good at, favorite subjects, etc. So some of the more personal details about this character. So I've already numbered my card 7112D, so it's oriented in my Zettelkasten, and I'm going to go on and answer my questions about Chad. So he's detail-oriented, he's a research rat, he's practical and mothering. Note I've made a little dot with a carrot next to it. That tells me that I'm going to want to go back and do some more noodling on this idea. So I, it's just a note to myself. That becomes important a little further down the line because we're going to talk about how one of the purposes of the Zettelkasten outright is the cards become a conversation with yourself, which is really cool because that's where the magic happens. But let's continue. What was he good at in school? Math, science, he was nerdy. Maybe some forensics, maybe debate. That's in blue because you know that Marshall Branch is my blue character. So that relates to Branch because Branch is a former debate coach. Let's continue on. Favorite subject was French. Art history, of course. Now there's a note here in pencil. Did he study abroad? Perhaps in the Oxbridge program, which I happen to know is a program that operates between Oxford and William Jewell College. So potentially a link there to Europe. Now, this is in pencil, okay? So anything that appears in brown or in pencil or in gray, those are all notes to myself about things. So that's me talking to myself in the context of the card. Let's continue. Professional. He's a provenance researcher. He's good at being patient. He's good at forethinking. Note, I have a little note here that says past jobs. Now you'll see that's whited out. We are allowed to make mistakes because initially I listed out some things on the back of that card and then I reminded myself, uh-uh-uh, you don't want to go onto the back of the card. You want to create a branch off of that card, okay? So questions I'm thinking about when I made that note. What was the science fair project that went awry? So there's going to be something in Chad's scholastic past that informs who he is as a character, all right? So perhaps that project gone awry is why he collects the items that he does. What does Chad collect? Perhaps it's rocks, perhaps it's feathers. Again, pencil notes to myself because I haven't figured that out yet. I need to do some work in the story to understand what does he need to collect as a character that's relevant somewhere in the story? So sometimes your notes are bi-directional, right? You're working forward on your character, but you're also working backward into your story. That's how plot and character are inextricably linked. It's not chicken and egg. They coexist together and they're bi-directional. Let's continue on this card. Hobby. He's a cyclist. He likes light hiking. That's incongruous because he's an outdoorsy guy. He's not prissy, even though he's a museum researcher. Collections, I've already gone over that. Collections are yet to be revealed. No pets. He thinks that animals are too needy, even for him, even though he takes care and mothers Tara. So that's interesting. Let's go on. Now you'll notice this is a slash one. I've also added a slash two card before I go on to E. So let's see what's on slash two. Establish that he's a jack of all trades. So this answers that question about past jobs, and I've told myself it's the slash two card. So what did he do? He worked in a coffee bar. He worked in a library. What is the oddest job? And I've made a line because I haven't figured that out yet. But a piece of dialogue popped into my head when I wrote that. Is there anything you haven't done? So this is how filling out your character cards in detail can often lead you to bits of conversation or scraps that you can use in other parts of the story. Last note is his past work skills that could be valuable for the story. So what has he done that I might be able to use? I move on to the E card, which is how does he get what he wants? He's focused, his practicality and perseverance. He's not afraid to fail. He's skilled at picking himself back up. So I need to do some more development on that E card. I'm not satisfied with that yet, but this gives you a sense of how you start to interact with yourself and with your characters and pull things into the story so that everything starts to mix together into a nice fat plot. All right. So that leaves us on our lesson today for character development. I will pick up in the next video with their greatest fears, 
physical and mental, and how do they respond to pain? So we're going to start to get into some of the deeper issues of this character. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon.